Good afternoon, Con here with TechOut, and today um, on August 5th, Samsung released One UI 5 Beta 1, um, and this is out for the Galaxy S22 series, so the S22, the S22 Plus, and the S22 Ultra, which is what I have here. Um, so I just installed this, it's probably been about 20 minutes, um, so I'm just going to do a first impression, show you guys some of the, the major new changes, and give you guys a little um, how-to on how to install it. Um, so first things first is the notifications. Um, this is what the new pull down looks like for your notifications right here. Um, and thanks to Jeff Springer for his very informative videos on One UI Beta 5 or One UI 5 Beta 1 already um, and letting us know that it is out. Um, so that's what it looks like. I do have a color palette applied. Um, that brings me to the next thing. If we go into um, wallpapers here, we can do a color palette. Um, based on your wallpaper colors. So you have um, a bunch of them to select from here or you can just choose from basic colors. You can do a single color or you can swipe over and you can do um, a multi-color multi um, color palette which is very cool. Um, so they did add some of that. Um, let me pull this back real quick so I don't show my phone number. Um, there is one bug so far um, and that is if you go into your mobile networks here, this drop down right here um, shows you 5G, 4G, 4G, 4G. Um, these do enable like LTE, uh, 3G, 2G, and I guess just 2G I think is what it was. Um, so they do change it correctly. It is just mislabeled in the drop down, but if you change it, you do get a little notification warning you that you are dropping it down to like 3G and you may have uh, you know issues and stuff like that. Um, there's this ultra wideband to identify pre pre precise location of nearby devices. Pretty sure that is a new setting, so not entirely sure what that does. Um, there is a connected devices section right here. I think this is uh, either new or redesigned. I really don't remember it being here before. This is where your Android settings, uh, Android auto settings are, your smart things, uh, decks, all that kind of stuff, calls and texts on other devices, and your settings for auto switching, your Galaxy Buds if you have those. Um, so that's some of the stuff that is new in settings. Um, and the animations, as you can see, are a lot smoother and faster. Um, it just feels a lot better. Um, Opening and closing apps doesn't take as long, which is very nice. Um, we do have some new notifications settings here. Um, so if we go into app notifications, we'll just go to this one for example. Um, you can see the new settings here. So if you want to choose whether it's allowed on the lock screen, the badge, or a pop-up, um, you can now choose and toggle those right there. Um, so that is very nice. Um, if you don't want something to pop up on the top of the screen when you get a notification, you just tap that right there and uh, you can turn that off. Um, so that is something new in One UI 5 uh, Beta 1. Again, this is based on Android 13, so you're getting all that kind of stuff as well. Um, not expecting to see everything here in Beta 1. Hopefully we get the themed icons um, like on the Pixel. I don't know if that's something we'll get or not though because I think that's uh, Pixel Launcher, Android 13 kind of thing. As you uh, guys know, we're on the, the One UI launcher here. Um, so I don't know if we'll get that in a future beta or if all, at all. Um, but this is what we have for One UI Beta 1 so far. Uh, phone has been running very nicely. It's very smooth. Um, bunch of new features. Let me just show you the uh, the change log real quick. Um, so here we go. Uh, more options for your color palette, like I said. Um, you can stack widgets on your home screen. Um, you can set a call background for each contact so you can easily see who's calling with a quick glance. Um, get only the notifications you, you allow. Um, so the first time you use an app, um, you'll ask, you're asked whether you want to receive notica notifications from it um, so you don't have to set them up you know, separately. Stay on top of reminders due today. Um, choose the types of notifications app can send, which is where I just was showing you like um, pop up and lock screen and that kind of stuff. Uh, show and hide completed reminders. Uh, you can set a language for each app. Um, edit your lock screen wallpaper collection um, so you can set a group of images. Um, you can easily add or remove images later. Customize the spacebar row and Samsung keyboard. Um, improved sound and vibration settings. Um, so they've reorganized the menu um, for the sound settings um, right here. Um, so easier to change all that kind of stuff and your ringtone and your vibration all right there. Oop, we're already in. Um, be more productive. There's, you can uh, extract text from uh, images on the screen now. Um, kind of like you can on iOS. Um, so a bunch of new stuff here. Um, you can kind of scroll through that and read it. Now here's the part everybody's going to be asking about is how to install um, One UI 5 Beta 1. Now this is the first beta, so if you're worried about stability, I would wait. Um, but if you go into the Samsung Members app, you do have to download that. 
um, go in here and you go to I already have it so you get that extra uh, beta screen right there but for me it is the fifth uh, the ninth one on the little uh, banner up here just tap that and it gives you a little uh, kind of like disclaimer just hit register I'm already in there I'm active um, but you just read this scroll all the way to the bottom and hit uh, enroll right there on the bottom it says withdraw for me because again I'm already in there um, and then wait about five to ten minutes and then you just go to your software update settings and check for an update as usual and you should receive an update for um, One UI 5 beta 1 and it will download and install just like any other Android update um, I would keep a backup of your Android 12 just in case you go back because you're not going to be able to Restore from Android 13 on Android 12 um, So if you do have to wipe your device after you update you're going to want that older backup um, to restore from so that is Android uh, 13 One UI Beta 5 on the Samsung Galaxy S22 series. I'm Colin with TechOut. I will be having more videos on this shortly um, with new features and just overall experience um, as I have time to use it. So make sure you click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss a video. And as always, like I said, I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.